But do you see what's happening to society? Do you, do you see how humanity is evolving? Do, do you see that this rush of technology that we're experiencing right now is is like the the warm breeze before the hurricane storm that's just about to hit us? That's just going to come and 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 blow your face right off your skull and never going to stop. It's not like it's going to slow down or ease up. It is going to be the new state of humanity. Government is going to be obsolete. The principles of liberty will be about as relevant in your life as the principles of hygiene. It's just like, yeah, you do it. It's obvious. You get it out of the way. That's it. And it will be the new paradigm. It will be that accepted. And you know what? We're so, I, I, I have to... I, I, as I look at the news... I see, like, the, 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 there are two worlds diverging, and it's almost like government is going off the fiscal cliff or the cliff of irrelevancy. And just the people that make wars, the people that engage in the police state, the people that do that, they're going to they're gonna do that. And, they, you know, to, to achieve a voluntary society, there's some people we're just either going to have to drag them along, kicking and screaming, or we're going to have to wait for them to die. Or... Or, and you know for me, this is so much more important, we are going to cure whatever it is about them that makes them statists. Because if you are a libertarian, you have to put that in perspective. And you have to step back and think, well then, if, if libertarianism is the moral way of looking at the world, what causes immoral behavior? It's not much of a leap from that to go to, well, what causes government? What is government? Government isn't something that exists it is a construct it is an idea it is a behavior it is something that we as human beings do and we do only because we fail to see the universal moral truths that we as libertarians have embraced of the non-aggression principle of the self-ownership philosophical axiom of the basic moral precepts of, of or, or concepts of, of how you get along with your fellow human beings on a day-to-day -day basis these are things that are, are so fundamental to human interaction and, and the foundation of society. And yet we see that, that now we're able to address any of these deficiencies that used to be the status quo coming from the state of nature, relatively speaking, for humanity that to, to endure some insanity. Now we can get past that. Like, I mean, holy fucking shit. Can we just look at the human history of war? And not decide that that was a bad idea. Like, yeah, that kind of organizing and big governments and massive tribes and sending, you know, your best and brightest to go kill each other. Really not good for trade. You know, not good for commerce, human happiness, getting along. Libertarianism is going to be irrelevant because libertarianism is not going to be what brings about a free society. The libertarianism that we are experiencing now as a movement is a blip. It is a it, it, it is an historical blip. It is the product of people being able to see forward to the next paradigm. And it is only possible because of the, the, the progress of the previous paradigm, the progress of productive capacity. The fact that Rothbard was able to write was only because somewhere one of his predecessors learned how to make flint stone blades. Because someone after that invented the printing press. Do you see where this is going? That he is able to do that and take that measure of empowerment is a product not of any intellectual revolution. Rather, that intellectual revolution that we are experiencing now is the product of the productive paradigm. It is a product of the economic reality of society, and that is about to be turned on its head. Humanity is about to hit what I can only describe as an asymptote. All the exponential growth curves that we're on, we're coming to the part where they go vertical. And we're getting closer every day. And I look at the news and I think, wow, I see it. I see it coming. How do people not see this coming? How, how is it that you can see what humanity, this, this incredible breakthrough that humanity is on the brink of? And maybe you don't even want to see it as a breakthrough, but this next accelerated course of, of evolution that we're about to hit and then turn around and and join the u.s military and then say yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna become a cop and i'm gonna i'm gonna put people in jail for for non-crimes for a living i'm gonna go I, i'm you know even to the petty things i'm gonna be a thief how can you look forward to that and say you know what i'm gonna do to make a living and and help you because you know what in a way all you got to do is hold on and get to there 
You want you want to make plans for 30 years out, 50 years out? Nothing in human history before this point is going to be of much relevance to you there. Sorry, pal. Do you see this coming? 3D printing. The very concept of material wealth as we know it today is going to be more or less irrelevant. The only question is whether you're going to get your 3D printer from Walmart or your neighbor is just going to print it for you or print the parts that you'll put together. This is coming. It's not just that it's coming. This is here. We are right on the verge of this. You could say that this generation is, is going to be the last one that lives in this archaic time of not having computers in our brains or turning our computers into brains or living as pure human will or being able to perfectly control our body chemistry like what yeah I, you can't even imagine i can only see so far forward but holy fucking shit it looks a lot different than the world today and what's going to bring about a free society is not that a couple people figured this out and saw, hey, this is a better way. It's going to be because it is fundamentally a better way. We are going to evolve to a free society. So I have to wonder then, like, what can I do? How do we, how do, how, sh when you, when you look up and you see this coming, how do you live differently? How do you how do you say like I just want to hold on I just want to get there I just want to make it until everybody has computers in their brains I just want to, I just it's hard to find the motivation to do anything but hold on when you really appreciate the gravity of this but then you have to remember and be reminded as well to live in the moment and to be present and to realize that we're not there yet we're not there yet and all we can do is live free now. All we can do is live by the values that are important to us now and enjoy life. Because I can't think that you would want to hold back. But if you want to spread the message of liberty, if you want to help humanity achieve that free society, I would hope that you would spread this message. I would hope that you would grab everybody you can by the collar and say, Hey! The asymptote is coming. Calm the fuck down. Chill out. Put down the guns and the ballots and step away from the government. Let's do this thing peacefully. Let's move on as a species of individuals who respect the divinity of human will. Because that's the only thing that I can see is what it is we're coming to. An experience of pure human will. The obvious stuff that is making people go, what the fuck is happening here? As libertarians about the sanctity of the individual. This is disorderly conduct.